What's up guys, thanks for tuning in on today's video. I'm Gabe and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to remove a bumper on a fifth generation Camaro SS and do a grill swap. Uh, I'm going to be swapping in the ZL1 grill style, uh, replacing the current fifth generation SS grill that I have. Of course, my grill actually comes with the uh, bow tie or ribbon delete. This video is going to be obviously applicable uh, for anybody that's looking to just remove the bumper and of course for anybody that's looking to do a grill swap or you know removal uh, should be a fairly easy process to do i recommend that you have another person with you i am expecting some guests to help me out with this later on during the video before we actually begin i just want to let you guys know that you guys can find the exact tools that you'll be needing and of course i'll reference them as the video progresses but you can find that in the description below all right guys so i just want to let you know that there is an optional step that you can do which is actually taking off the tires and the wheels people say that you don't really have to do that uh, but i disagree i think this is a great way to actually give you some space and make it a lot more convenient for you guys to do it and it's just a headache that uh, i prefer not to deal with so i'm gonna actually be removing the wheels for this installation and removal so but fyi you don't actually have to do it but this guide is going to show you how to do it with the tires off let's go who needs um day <laughs> So here are the other guests that just pulled up. We have Bryce and his uh, E92 M3. George pulling up in the oh, WRX. Last time I saw you, bro, I did forget. Okay, guys, so we have the car lifted up now, which is, again, necessary to take the wheels out. You see them right there. Taking off the wheels is gonna grant us access to pretty much all of the fender well and pretty much give us access to these little clips here that we're gonna take out. And you're gonna have these uh, three T20 uh, screws that you're going to use a T20 torque to get that out and then once you take that out and take these clips out you're actually going to be able to uh, see the next set of bolts here. Clips and fingertips don't really go together. Oh, <laughs> whatever. There's a specific tool that you can use for that but we decided to just go with these. Hey, come back! So once you take out these clips, you take out the T20s, you now have access to, there's gonna be three 10 millimeter bolts. There's one on the top, the middle one, and the most easily accessible one. And you're gonna find a 10 millimeter bolt right next to this little uh, blue painted. Yeah, make sure you actually take out this one and not that one. And there's also a seven millimeter right on this section right here. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. It just came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! No, he always comes in. Sorry, maybe we should put like a, a drape in case of No, I was putting it on the grass. Bro. Oh, yeah, on the grass. Next step is to actually start taking out these clips right here there's gonna be six of them again you could use a screwdriver and your fingers gloves not optimal <laughs> <laughs> this is a stud finder if you don't know about this this is the best invention ever but it's got a flaw well no flaw anymore Found the stud, stud located <laughs> let's see let's see on me <laughs> hey Bryce. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, uh, um, what is this tabu? Yeah, you're, you're sued. All right, guys. So now we're underneath the car to get the last pair of ten millimeters. Like butter. Those are gonna be the last things that you really need uh, for bolts to hold the bumper in place. Now the last one here. <laughs> all right so we just got the last bolt off and uh this is a monumental moment for me because we've tried this again like four times so 
Next step, take this stupid thing off. We actually have to make sure that we take the harnesses out and we disconnect all the plugs that are necessary. So let's go ahead and proceed. <laughs> the moment of truth, start lifting it out. Let's see. Ooh, there we oh, go. That harness. Yeah, it was not attached. It's to not attached to shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I guess right, if you, you if you had your fog lights, then you would take this harness here out. I think that bumper be no. Yeah, but <laughs> So that's how it looks like without the bumper? Ouch. Very sexy. Ouch. Shut up. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we went ahead and placed the bumper on the grass here. You obviously want to put it on a uh soft surface so let's walk around here to this is the factory grill right it's going to be held in place by these clips here so all we're going to do is simply just pop them out and it'll pretty much come out like that we're going to leave the lower grill untouched and if we see the zl1 Ooh. grill has the same watch out has the same dynamics and they'll fit right into place there you can break that oh. no <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello. Yo, just grow delete. Full, full grow delete. Yeah. You don't need to grow. Your radiator rocks. I mean, it's not doing much for that. Oh. Do you want a thumbnail? Is that what you wanted? <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So this is the uh, factory grill. Kind of nice. I, I, I did the bow tie delete just because it was super cheap to do it, and honestly, wanted to try something new. Uh, but yeah, we don't need that anymore. <laughs> throw it, bro. Uh, yeah, throw oh, it, bro. Oh, bro. What are you? Sell this shit, bro. I'd be easy. Thumbnail right there. <laughs> Dude, what the hell are you doing with my car? <laughs> what you do to my car? <laughs> are you sure you're gonna do that? It keeps popping out. Where? On which? The bottom or the top? This side bottom. All this up with my finger. <laughs> so this is why you need more than one person. Just so you have different people, you know, supporting, pressure. putting pressure, lifting it up a little bit. Because this is really flimsy. The ZL1 grill that I bought from the link in the description below, you'll see that they all line up perfectly. There's no metal clips or anything that holds on onto it. So if we make our way towards the front, Jesus, don't die. <laughs> Look at that. Huge difference. You see how it's nice and horizontal, just like the bottom grill, it matches very nicely. Bryce, what did you do? <laughs> no, I pushed it in. No, you created another bump. <laughs> no. Oh, no. wait. <laughs> Chill. All right, yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. It has to be pushed out, right? That's the face oh, of determination right Gabe, there. Gabe's scalping like the those stone, <laughs> just like the stone statues. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's no, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, dude, it's bent. <laughs> get the get the the full dry out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do a reservoir delete, bro? Dude, you can do any sort of deletes right now. Yeah. Wait. So now we're gonna start putting the bumper. On. That's gonna be the the best part of this all, the most challenging part. Wish us luck. No, we we'll eat. <laughs> Bruh. All right, guys, so we put the bumper back on. We're now starting to finish up with like the bolts and nuts that have to go in. But what a difference. This looks amazing. All right, guys, so that is the video for today. If you guys found it useful and entertaining, go ahead and give it a like. Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content. And guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my how-tos, my reviews, etc., etc. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you next time.